That's unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I guess here we are. I guess Fang died, so I guess I'm solo cast. Yeah. All right, cool. So he he died. Um, that leaves us with Maverick Hunter and Hydra. So, like I said, this is probably the hypest match that you're going to see for the next hour and a half. Um, and even then, the hype levels are probably um, debatable. Matchup is pretty, pretty meh from the Mega Man, I should say. Not not because you'd think the Reflector or the Invincible moves are a pain in the neck to get through. It's just that there's really nothing that Mega Man can do from a zoning perspective that Palu can just like disregard. Like Palitz doesn't do that much to mitigate her air pressure. Um, he's forced to respect Auto Radical, which is really something you don't hear. Um, and as far as the kill power is concerned, they're both kind of at the same levels where, like, they can rack up the damage, no issue. But getting the kill is going to be a bit tricky. And SD helps, though. SD's definitely help along the way. Um, seeing as Mav's a bit more of a aggro uh, mega player, I, I mean, I use that term loosely as far as mega players can go, um, I would expect his style of play to to work out well, although I'm not too familiar with Hydra, to be honest with you. So we'll see how things go as Hydra tries to fight back from this deficit. Mab been doing good on trying to just rack up the damage, force the ledge pressure, and that's what's to be expected for, uh, for any Mega Man that's trying to not deal with the shenanigans. Although I do like how Hydra keeps on responding to the Metal Blade. Just like either get it out of play or try to use it to your advantage, even if you're not used to using it. Nice show of warp canceling, always nice to flex, even if a little bit. Some classic damage. Keeping Mega at the ledge, I feel like, is going to be more important, especially if, like, you know Mav is going to be looking to press OD buttons on you. And you know Mav is looking to press OD buttons. He's a Mega Man player. They all want to press buttons. Um... But, like, trying to lock him down at the ledge as effectively as possible is going to help mitigate any of that pressure that he could build up. Because he could swing all he wants, but if you're in a range where you don't have to respect his swinging, or he can, he's, like, forced to not swing as much, in that he can't get away with his buttons, then you know that you're comfortable. And that goes for, like, any type of counterplay to Mega Man, but especially with a character like Palutena who wants to keep a very controlled zone. Like, she controls a, a strong mid zone really well if she's trying to play passively. But, uh, I digress. That's, those are shots that you can call when you're in the lead, and, uh, Hydra is in And it doesn't look like he's gonna take this ledge plate to be in the lead, but he is gonna rack up some plenty of damage on map. I feel like people forget that Mega Man is kinda heavy, so it takes a bit of effort to get him dead. That Crash Bomber is just gonna turn the tables. Okay, yeah, now that, that could've led to complete disaster, but... Matter counter opting not to get greedy, tries to just rack up a little bit of damage, tries to retreat, and it's just not good enough. He said he's gonna leave it a little bit of that damage as he enters his last stock. I like how he's trying to bait with the uh, the metal blade, but how is he gonna accomplish too much if he's not even gonna really position himself well enough with it? Thankfully for Matter Hunter though, Hydra's running into a lot of buttons and Running into hitboxes on Mega Man is really not something that you ever want to do. Mostly because you're just giving him free damage. That's just like one or two less pellets that he needs to hit you with. And with that, game one goes to Maverick Hunter. Mega Man wins! <laughs> I clipped that way too late. It's just, oh look, there's the kill. <laughs> You'll love to see it. All right. You know, all things considered, Mav took that game pretty quickly. I guess you gotta count your blessings here. Hey, Dev, how are you looking for trying to end tonight before midnight? You got any hope? You got any dreams for that? I had like, di I would, I hadn't even thought of it until other people brought it up. So like, I, I actually don't care. Um, oh, wow, okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm home. Uh, Helper probably has other views on that, though. My man's got to wake up tomorrow. Wow. Uh, but, well, I mean, we are pretty close. This is top six. Um, 
Actually, was is the other half of top six already done? Like, or is after this like just loser standing? Oh no, the other half is looking far worse. Because keep in mind, uh, even though Maverick Hunter sits a game up, moving into the battlefield for game two makes it, it's a good start for him. Even though this is a fine stage for Palutena, this is a really good stage for Mega Man. So I'm kind of concerned with Hydra's pick and choice. Uh, regardless, whoever w ends up winning out of this set is going to move on to fight either Mr. Zircon, a uh, renowned Isabel player from New Jersey, Riley. Uh, play from Long Island, also renowned Wi-Fi warrior, repping King DDD, or Pokelam, uh, player from New York, repping... Yeah, I know he's been playing Game & Watch lately, but more known for his villager. Uh, all of the characters that are in that potential mix, who are all going to duke it out for the right to fight Utopian Ray and lose his finals, that all sounds terrible. That sounds positively dreadful. Um, so, we'll get, to, we'll get to the end of the night when we get there. Um... If I was a safe betting man, I would opt to uh, to not see a grand final before midnight, but we'll see what happens, especially if Maverick Hunter is going to keep on trying to press the game as heavily as he is. Because even though he's bleeding, he, this man only knows how to press forward. He doesn't even have a stage to, to rely on. And he doesn't have a first stock anymore. Really good ledge play from Hydra, cleaned things up from the previous game. Um, making the battlefield pick a little bit less dubious, showing that it's a bit more comfort. Especially, it just immediately brings things back to full circle for Maverick Hunter. But, clean placement of Crouch Bomber does let him get his feet back on the ground for once. See if he can do anything about it. His percentage has already been lapped. You know, he's best to try and rush down, but being hasty at the ledge is only getting him caught in explosive flames. Trying to get himself back into play, but really good ledge play over there from Hydra's keeping. So I'm actually really impressed that he managed to uh, to get through Mav as well as he did. And honestly, he's looking really slick out here off stage, forcing Mav to recover extremely high. He's going to end up falling into forward tilt, and just like that, a complete shift in momentum. Maverick Hunter's going to be able to take off that first stock, but that's a whole stock behind. I feel like Mav might be trying to leverage too much on pressuring forward with uh, pellets and metal blade. Might want to look into potentially leaf shielding or even just like just circle strafing, trying to kite out with uh, with back air. Staling out back air never really the best of moves for Mega Man, but when push comes to shove, he's a character you don't have to really worry about as much when it comes to staling, just because you'll be able to move uh, moves around your uh, freshness list like really quickly. Especially when you consider how many buttons you're trying to press all at once. But Mav really can't do anything on his own call right now. Once again, caught off ledge thanks to Hydra. Although a missed read is going to give Hunt, um, Maverick Hunter a little bit of uh, breath relief. Metal Blades and Explosive Flames abound. Hydra doing what he can to try and end things out as quickly as he can. And that's not killing from center stage, but it is bringing us really close. Maverick Hunter already sitting at 167% on his last stock. These air shooters are going to seal the deal on that second stock, but he is going to have to make a miracle out of this next stock if he wants to try and walk away with a 2-0. Yeah. And it's that he's going to get his uh, efforts forward aired, and that's going to bring us into game three. Hey, I'm alive. Oh, wow. Thank you for I, joining us. I did it. <laughs> you're, you're here just in time for game three of what awesome. might be the hype set of uh, of this tournament. I think we actually have seen. I've seen this Palu before. Actually, uh, he attended uh, Smash at the Paramount, and he has set versus Brother Quang. Oh, okay. So this is a player that. I don't know if it's the same guy, but I mean, the chances enough. are kind of slim, but it would be so really nice this, to say. This might be a Long Island player, actually. In uh, in when it's finals right now. Is so just taking a quick look, taking a quick look on Smash GG because uh, we have the option to do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it looks like this player is <laughs> ranked for for Wi-Fi. I didn't even know. Oh, Wi -Fi they are. Okay. Had, had a rank. Yeah, uh, ranked in fact 16. So. Yeah, they have their own like little PGR for the for Wi-Fi rankings. It's pretty cool. That's nice. I figure enough people are active in the uh, online scene, then it makes sense to rank if yeah. enough of them are active and. You know, not right. playing under under pseudonyms and whatnot. 
you ever think we'd be commentating a Wi-Fi tournament? <laughs> you know, it's it's not the first time I've done it. Really? But... On the House of Three Thousand <laughs> channel? Yeah, no, that's that's the that's the first one. Now that's we're a, that's at a real Yikers novelty Island hours. right there. I, I was super excited to be a part of this, just because like I don't know, it's like the first time you guys have ever attempted anything like this, right? I don't even think Devin's excited to be a part of this. Devin's, I literally, the literal times I've heard Devin say I don't care tonight. Like, if I took a shot the <laughs> time I heard Devin say I don't care, I'd oh, you'd be, be hospitalized. Dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like, "Is it the Rona?" He'd be like, "No, <laughs> it's the Devin <laughs> drinking game." <laughs> oh my god! Oh, no. game three. Yeah, you're game coming three. right into game three. So <gasps> both players took their uh, individual wins pretty convincingly but with game for bringing us to talon city i'm curious to see if this stage of comfort will work out for mav as much as game two's battlefield pick worked out for hydra and yo props to mav for making it this far into the tournament because wi-fi is a barren wasteland so the fact that this man was able to fight his way through no man's land almost all the way to like the final boss is like ridiculous yeah i feel like it's worth noting that maverick hunter and utopian ray are two of the um eight players within tonight's top eight that are more known for their appearance and uh in offline events, I guess we refer to them. We don't really call them lands, but mm -hmm. nonetheless, like Maverick Hunter and Utopian Ray are players who we're very familiar with in the local scenes. And while Pokemon and Riley aren't strangers to making public appearances, they are more known for their Wi Fi play. So it's more home turf for them than not. Also, I feel like it's a special shout out to Mav because I think he's done nothing but complain since he's entered this tournament, <laughs> and yet he's still alive. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Who, who's Works complaining? Maverick? Yeah. Maverick what, what a thought. Collisions, I think that Collisions might be Collision own Maverick Hunter has not stopped bitching and moaning for the past uh, <laughs> five hours. I'm pretty sure if you were to play that drinking game, it'd put your, like, your grandchildren in the hospital. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure anyone would be able to drink anyone under the table. If you the, the entire family has cirrhosis of the liver free. <laughs> we're done, bro. It's over. I mean, you know, Mega Man, being a zoner, you know, he's got he's got the Wi-Fi boost. So my man, my man is definitely reaping the benefits of that super duper hard. The problem is, is that Mav isn't playing. Is uh, he's more playing projectile rushdown than anything that we've seen so far. And I feel like it's fitting to his style, but at the same time, it's not something that you want to deal with when you have a Polly who's now grown comfortable with being able to run away. Ooh, that was good. I like that attempt with the uh, the flame sword right there too. Get the, uh, the teleport gimp right there because when if the the best way to get Palo is get her right before she hits the ledge because characters that teleport have uh, I forgot what the frame window is but they have a window before they're actually able to grab the ledge so if you time your um, aerial right right over the ledge you should be able to nick them. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's like a two to four frame window. It's, it's, it's for, small. It's not teleport. that big. Um, yeah, no, it's it's something where you have to like read accordingly or just be lucky with your hitbox placement. Mav uh, trying to claw his way back to stage right here. Hydra's not giving up the stage. Where, no, where do they, explosive where do they grow these excellent. kids? Jesus Christ, where do they grow these kids? I saw the Pac-Man earlier. I was like, who is this guy? Oh, you're going to be Who's seeing stuff? more of him later on. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did he come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Amazing how it only takes you one game to say something incredibly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, though, Mav, trying to claw his way back, though, very slowly but surely. He's, he's doing a good job of keeping safe control right now, as this is a no landing zone right now for Hydra. He just can't get in. You know, the lack of uh, platforms seems to have definitely been the bane of uh, this game three. Anytime that we see the transitional period of Talon City, Mav is taking full control. It leads me to think that maybe he should have gone to FD. You think so? But, you think uh, it would have been... Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Map, map is usually typically a pretty rushdown, uh, as rushdown as Mega Man can get. Uh, so he usually likes to keep the space between him and his opponent pretty close. He doesn't, he doesn't known too much for camping. No, even then, just locking out platforms would have been a big deal for him, especially if it's shown to be this effective on town. Maybe he was denied FD and this is what he's working with, but hey, he's working with what he's got. He's gotten Hydra down to last stock, and at sub 100% for Mega Man, that's kind of a big deal. And he can definitely rack up damage uh, pretty quickly once he gets the Metal Blade back in his control, but Hydra's is not letting him back. And this is this whole thing is best of three as well, right? Uh, yep. Yeah, Helper's trying to go home. Uh, well, Helper's trying to go to work tomorrow. It looks like Maverick's and Hydra's going helping home. him along just a little bit more. 
That was, uh, you know, Hydra cleaning that up there, and I believe that was game three, correct? 